All right, so I decided I'm just gonna do this one by drill. I'm just gonna clean them up a bit. All righty. Probably gonna make a mess of my table. Easy, isn't it? I spent about five minutes doing that. I'm not trying to make it perfect. Not by any means. I don't know about you, but I like to see a little patina. I just took off the surface rust. Now I'm gonna go one step further. Look what I want, my favorite product, oil. This is all I'm doing right here. Smear it on and then give it a wipe. Same to the other side. I actually think it looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can show you this. You can still see plenty of patina on there. I just took the surface off. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I love it. That's the way I like them. An old saw with an old bar. I can't believe I don't need to resurface this. But I don't. So, we're wanting it on. On a chain, it's pretty rough. It's gonna take some work. Put the bar plate on again. Whoops. Can't forget my uh, little spacer. There we go. chain I'm not completely pleased with all my chain choices are bad so we're just gonna run with this one this one's a little different so we'll go with this one boy what does it need sharpened though we got some work to do before uh, we can cut it put it into wood. I don't have any washers. I need to go get some. Every time I, I usually put washers behind these, but I've done so many that I'm out of washers. Don't you love the squeaky table? I got to do something about that. It's bugging me. There it is. I'm going to take the uh, camera off the mount so you can get a better look. There you go. I still got to get the uh, oil cap. It's laying over here. I just got to grab it. What do you think of the bar? It'd be a 16 inch hard nose. XL12. You know what's next, right? The next is sharpening. But once the sharpening is done, we can start it. Or try to, at least, right? So, let's start sharpening. It's going to take a little while. You can see there's no gullet. 
So this is gonna take a few minutes. Let's get her sharpened up. So I was inspecting this chain and I decided, no, this is gonna get done by machine. Look at that. I got that all replaced. And I got one like this. And you know what, what I discovered is really funny? I stuck the raker gauge on it and it looks like whoever had it before was maintaining the rakers. But look at that. That's horrible. This one here, I started working this one by file and then I, then I stopped and I was like, no, I'm just gonna do this by machine. So let's get this done quickly. So there it is. I've had people tell me they prefer more C shape than that. I'm pretty happy with that. I haven't I haven't touched the uh, the rakers yet, but I don't think they're going to need much, as you can see. They may not need anything. But uh, yeah, I have had people tell me they they like them more. They like them dug out a little more than that. They, they gull it out more than that. I'm I'm happy with that. Whenever you see it cutting, you tell me what you think. Do you think that's enough, or do you think I should do more? I don't like to do more than that because then it gets kind of grabby, if you know what I mean. It wants to grab the wood and kind of stall the saw. That's, that's why I do it this way. Kind of curious to know what your thoughts are on that. I don't think the rakers are going to need much. They may not need anything. But so I decided since some is dark, we're just going to see what happens. I didn't touch the rakers at all. So um, we're just going to have to deal with that. But uh, remember, the diaphragm that is in this carburetor is the first one that I put in that is cleaned. So if it doesn't start, we'll just make another attempt with a different diaphragm. So let's see what happens. Okay, so it's not pumping fuel. So we just gotta change out that diaphragm and give it another try.